Hey everybody, Darren Dole here with you, EdmondsonVoice.com. This video segment is brought to you by Mickey's Towing and Garage, located on Poplar Springs Road. Give them a call, 270-286-8334. Thanks for sponsoring this segment. I'm in the principal's office. Yes, you are. And I don't really know how to feel about it. I hope I'm not in trouble, at least not yet. Not this time. Not, not this time. <laughs> that, that could change. Absolutely. We're here with Chad Johnson, newly named principal of the EC56 Center. Now, Mr. Johnson, the last time I talked to you, you were over at the high school. Yes. So what brought you over here? Well, it really was an opportunity. You know, I'm coming from a great job that I had, you know, with two great principals uh, that I got to work under with Mr. I Mr. Alexander and Mr. Williams. So this really was an opportunity for me to be a leader within our district that I took a chance at. Nice. Well, we've got school starting next week. It's hard to believe. I know. Summer break <laughs> is is basically over. Yes. Um, what can we expect to the start of school here at Five Six Center next week? Well, we're trying to return to school as normal as possible. We know that's tough right now, yeah. but we've got a bunch of people that's fired up to get going. My teachers are excited. You know, we just had Wildcat One Hundred One here that I that we had advertised on the Emerson Voice mm -hmm. and. Very excited for those fifth graders to get a chance to come in. So we're really just excited to get kids back in the building, fifth and sixth graders, so that they can start the year off in a strong uh, suit. Here. Let's talk about this building. This yeah, building sure. has lots of nostalgia. It's been here a long time. I know when I went here years ago. <laughs> Decades. Uh, right. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty special place. Sure. Absolutely. And, you know, you talk about why I wanted to come here, and that's one of the big things. You know, people speak about the 5-6 Center in Reverend Tones. You know, all you have to do is take one walk into the gym and there's a big mural with the state champs on there from 1976. Yep. You know, I can't tell you how many people have came to me and said, hey, I went to high school right here. Yep. I went to middle school. Right. I got in trouble right over there. <laughs> and these are people that, you know, they, they view this place as special and I, it's the same for me. Like this place, I can already tell is gonna be near and dear to my heart. Just by working with the people, working with the staff that I have in place, and seeing the kids and talking to them uh, during our Wildcat 101, it's it's a special place, and we're going to treat it like that. And let's talk about those kids. That's sure. the that's the reason that you know you guys are here doing Absolutely. what you're doing. Fifth and sixth grade students, that can be a pretty tough age. Yes, it can. First time that some of these kids, uh, the fifth graders especially, are Wildcats. Mm -hmm. So yeah. discuss how that kind of uh, how 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 unique that is. Absolutely. Well, you know, I hadn't really thought about it until Mr. Simon, Mr. Anthony Simon, and I had a conversation the other day in passing, and he brought up how this is the first time we get to be Wildcats. And that has stuck with me yeah. because, as you know, being a Wildcat in this community has always been special. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. special for those that came before us, and it's going to be special for those that replace us. So it's a great opportunity to bridge that gap between elementary and middle school. And, yes, it's a tough age. I've got an 11-year-old at home, and he's going through a lot yeah. of the same stuff sure. these kids do. And, you know, it's kind of on-the-job training for this job and, and dealing with him. So, yes, it's a tough age, but we're excited to teach them. Well, that kind of goes on to the next uh, question I have. You, mm -hmm. The motto here at the school is find our way. Yes, it is. So how does that incorporate with what you do here in the school? Well, that, that, that whole motto started with me getting hired because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing at the, <laughs> from the beginning. And I had to find my own way, and the motto just kind of stuck with the whole school. I feel like since July, since I got hired, that's what we've done here. We have found our way. So our kids are gonna find our way. It's what we're gonna do as a school. And we're gonna do it through working together. It's gonna to be a group effort, a group mindset. Um, I really think it is a great opportunity coming off of last school year, how that was so different for our kids. Sure. All this new style of learning, new styles of teaching, we gotta find our way. Yeah. And that's exactly what I want to do here in this building. It's not just for me, it's for everyone within the building and for our community. Well, let's talk about the community. Um, you know, we've covered a lot of points here about school starting and this, that, and the other here at the Five Six Center. Um, what else does Mr. Johnston want to relay to the sure. community here in Evans County? Well, I want the community to know that our doors are open to the community. That's that's really big for me. When I took this job in my interview, I talked about wanting to get the community involved in our building. So I want them to know that if they want to come take a walk down these halls and go look at the gym and kind of visit a place that's yeah. special to them, bring them on in. If there's parents that want to have a meeting with me, I want them to know they can call, walk in, set up an appointment, and I'll meet with them. 
I want them to know that this place is special. It is in downtown Brownsville, <laughs> and I want them to know that if it's walking distance, come on in, because we are open to, to our community. Good stuff. Thank you, Mr. Johnston. Yeah. We're going to wrap up this video segment here with this trip to the principal's office. <laughs> and again, you know, it makes me a little nervous, but, uh, you know, hopefully the next time I come, it'll also be positive. We'll not, see. Not negative. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you watch EvansonVoice.com for all the latest local news here in Evanston County. Thanks again.